Hey guys, this is Mike over to Perian Audio. Today we're going to do a little different video uh, about five common home theater mistakes that you uh, cannot afford to make. Uh, we're going to talk about them and uh, how, to, uh, how to overcome them. The, the first is pretty obvious for a Perian Audio customer since we are an online, an online company, uh, Internet Direct. One thing that we stress heavily is you have to get the speakers in your house to determine how they're going to sound. Even our showroom here, if you notice, we have sound panels on the wall where you're able to bring speakers up forward into the room. It sounds great in here, but this is probably not how your living room is going to look. And the room is going to play a huge factor on how those speakers are going to sound, depending on where they're placed. So, number one, very important to get whatever speakers you're going to buy, get them home and set them up to where you can uh, achieve the best performance and we can help you with that as well if you just give us a call once you get the speakers. Second rule and, and, and thing to avoid on speaker placement, um, place the speakers where you can get the best performance, not where they look the best in the room. And I know sometimes, you know, this is a give and take. Sometimes you want to put them, you know, right next to things or right up against the wall, but that's, that's definitely going to affect the way the system sounds. If you can, bring the speakers out in the room, keep them in open air if you can, putting them in cabinets, putting subwoofers way in the corner inside of built-ins, all of that is going to affect the sound in a, in a bad way and really not give you the full performance of the system. Um, the third, third thing to avoid is skipping calibration on both your receiver and on your TV. Now this is, a, this is an important one and I think a lot of people miss this. Uh, you know, you get all your speakers home and your, your new receiver, new TV, and you're just excited to turn everything on. And, and that's great, but spend a little bit of time going through the final setup and you're going to have much, much better performance. Um, most receivers today have an Odyssey type of setup where you're using a microphone. Odyssey is actually recommending that you place that microphone on a tripod if you can, put it in your seating area. You can do a couple different setup uh, place room placements for that mic and it'll really kind of bring the sound together. Definitely go through and check your settings afterward. Make sure nothing is too high of a level, say for the surrounds of the subwoofer or too low. Um, and again, we're happy to, to, to walk you through that. Just give us a call. Uh, another thing is calibrating your TV. Now this one's a little bit more difficult and, and more time consuming, but pays huge dividends. You can go on to different forums, ABS forums, go check out CNET when you're reading the reviews. Oftentimes you'll find uh, professional installers or ISF calibration uh, settings for your specific TV. And you go through into the advanced menu, there's sometimes up to as many as 150 different settings. Calibrate that to how the professionals would and the TV is gonna look night and day difference. Uh, okay, number four, cables. Now this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a touchy subject because cables can and, and do make a difference, but there's definitely a point of, well, do I need to spend $300 on a certain HDMI cable versus this one over here? Specifically speaking with HDMI, you're passing digital information. It's ones and zeros, you're gonna get good performance if you have a good quality cable. Now, that doesn't change if you have a much more expensive cable versus a, a lesser expensive cable. What you're looking for in HDMI is get the highest specifications. There are actually uh, different levels of HDMI and you want one that has the high speed with ethernet, can do 4K, all of that stuff, 3D pass through. If you find a good quality cable that has all of those features on there, that's gonna be perfect, that's all you need. No need to go spend uh, an arm and a leg for something extra. Um, let's see, last one is your source material. And this is, this is important too. Uh, the analogy we always use is, you know, you buy a high performance car, you're not gonna put regular gasoline in it, into it. They recommend a higher octane, it burns better, car performs better. Same thing with, with your home theater system or your two channel setup. You get, follow all the other steps. You calibrate your system, you get your speakers into your room, you get this nice sweet spot, it's all great, and then you throw in that, you know, Napster MP3 that you have from 1994 or something like that, and it sounds, sounds like junk. And it's because if you set up your system correctly, your speakers can be revealing enough to reveal that it's a bad recording. You throw in a high quality recording, we're talking about CDs or high quality downloads, lossless, flat, things like that, worlds of difference. And, and that's really how the system should sound. That's how the artist intended those songs to sound and the, uh, the, the movie should look. So 
definitely don't skip on the source material, especially when you're demoing. Bring it all together. Make sure you're demoing those speakers in your house, in your room, with the correct placement, calibrated and with perfect uh, source material, and you're, you're happy with that. So again, give us a call at, uh, at uh, 888-880-8992 or check us out at appearingon.com. Happy to help you out.